Hello and welcome to part 1 of using Java classes in BusinessWorks 6. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a BW6 application that uses the Java invoke activity to invoke a Java method from a class that resides in the same BW application module as the BW process. If the application module needs to contain Java files, we need to create the application module with the Java nature. Launch the new BusinessWorks application module wizard by right-clicking in the Project Explorer and selecting New BusinessWorks application module. Provide the module name in the project name field. Let's call our module MyBWJava module. To enable the Java nature which I mentioned earlier, click the Use Java Configuration checkbox at the bottom of the wizard page. Click Finish to complete the wizard. This creates the application and application module projects. Let's expand the application module in the Project Explorer. As you can see, we now have a source folder in which we can create our Java classes. Right click on the source folder and select new class. Let's give a package name. Let's also provide the name of the Java class. Click finish to complete the wizard. Let's now add a method say hello which will echo back the input parameter with the hello prefix. We are going to make this method as a static method just for this example. We can invoke both static and non-static methods from the Java invoke activity. To know more about invoking Java methods, refer to the documentation of the Java invoke activity in the BusinessWorks 6 palette and binding reference guide. Let's now add the implementation for the method. Now that we are done writing the Java class, we can go back to designing our process. Close the Java class and go back to the process designer. Let's add a timer to the BW process to trigger this job. There are multiple ways to add activities in BW6. I prefer the right click method. We now need to add the Java invoke activity. Again, I'm going to use the right click method, but you can use whichever method is most comfortable to you. Make sure you add a Java invoke activity and add a transition from the timer to the Java invoke activity. Click on the properties tab below the canvas to access the configuration of the Java invoke activity. Click on the Browse icon of the Class Name field which brings up the Class Selection dialog box. Type in the first few letters of the class name to narrow down the search for classes. Once you find the class which we created earlier, select it and say OK. Select the method which we have added in our Java class in the Method Name field. Since we know that we have to provide an input to the method, we will also provide the value for the parameter in the input tab of the Java Invoke activity. Let's also add a log activity to log the output of the Java Invoke activity. In the input tab of the log activity, Map the output of the Java invoke activity to the message element of the log activity. Let's save the process and run this process to see the output. Again, there are multiple ways you can debug or run a process. My favorite one is to use the right click context menu on the process canvas and select run or debug business works applications. This works especially well if you just have one application open in your workspace. We can now see the console coming up and we will be able to see the output of the Java invoke activity which is logged by the log activity. 
This concludes part one of using Java classes in Business Source 6.